these adventure Space down here. Yeah, these are all former work areas. They've been left abandoned due to a lack of funds. There are usually guards on patrol here. It would seem that all of those guards have been bought as well. Stay sharp. He's got a ton of surprises waiting for us, I'm sure. safe now. Just follow the guards and leave this place. Who knew that there'd be Gardamax here? Dushi ain't really prepared for everything! And that would explain the strange decommission requests I received, as well as account for all the Gardamax that had mysteriously gone missing. It seems like he's prepared for an all-out confrontation with me. Hey, what's this? Seems like some kind of handbook. Let me see. Ah, this should be the Society's real rules book. It lists all the rules that they're expected to follow. Members are not permitted to speak to each other or to leave without formal permission. Five members shall form a group, and the whole group will be punished for any single member's wrongdoings. Anyone who reports a fellow member's misbehavior shall be rewarded with food and water. I see. So it's much as I expected. But that's just cruel and unreasonable. To obtain food and water, prisoners are forced to snitch on others, and in the process cause pain to those around them. To avoid punishment, they learn to stop talking with one another. This leaves the wounds they've already received to fester, however. And so resentment builds until every prisoner has become an island. Finally, isolated and without hope, they accept their fate as Dugier's slaves. Do you remember what happened to Paimon? She rejected all the snacks in the box once she was spooked by that black gem. She's usually all for tasty snacks, but she chose to go against her instincts after a negative experience. Ugh, is that the best example you could come up with? Anyway, Paimon still thinks she made the right decision. It never hurts to be careful. No, your decision was valid. However, it's also valid to interpret that as a decision that you only made under emotional duress. The human heart is like a raft in a vast and empty ocean. We convince ourselves that we're in control, but in truth, a single wave could sweep us off course and send us crashing into the path of a storm. 
Those who use fear to lead others astray must pay for that crime. If I'm not mistaken, the space ahead should be the central area of this place, but the door has been locked. Rather than confront Dujier, I think it's more important right now for us to rescue as many society members. You guys should wait here. We'll try to open the door and check out some other spots. Open the door? Would we have to do something to this mechanism here? Ugh, Pyra doesn't get it at all. Forget it, Pyra's just gonna do some trial and error. A moment, please. No touching. Let's begin. Activate the mechanism in front of us first, just like before. Let's see if that changes anything.
gone way up. So that's how we'll make it to the top. These should be the prison cells. Hmm. Lots of empty cells in here. Dugier's probably moved them elsewhere already. Let's still rescue the ones who got left behind, though. Every person counts! be able to get through to her right now not with the stress response in the way i'd also guess there are many others here who are more or less like her let's let the guards take care of them for now and keep pushing forward It's so nice to de-stress. We're way behind schedule. open. Huh. Maybe it's his grace. I'll go take a look. I leave this area to you. Make sure to bring everyone out safe. Understood. And please take care as well, your grace. We'll return here right away and await your orders. Mm-hmm. 
Just focus on the tasks you've been given. I already have reliable help over here. Let's go back. We have unfinished business, do we not? That mechanism from the first room. Maybe we'll also need to hold it in place using the same device to open the door that leads to the central area. Don't forget to bring these along. I must confess to being furious. To think that there are still some of you who find it permissible to spit upon our rules. Remember their names. Fasal and Avis. They've betrayed you, betrayed us. And today you will see with your own eyes what'll happen to those who betray our cause. Go on, Avis. Pierce his skull with the thorn in your hands, and then push in the Aqua Dolores. Of course, you will do it one drop at a time. Let it do its magic again and again, and don't stop until you've pushed all of it in. That's all. I'm sorry. It... it's okay. I'll... find a way to endure. Oh, shut your wretched mouths! When did I give you permission to speak? My rules are the paramount law of this place! Only more pain will come to those who dare to disobey! That's enough, Dugier. Your rabid screams have been beyond nauseating. <gasps> Is that... His Grace? Oh, Risley. I knew you would come, but I didn't expect you to be so quick. Must you still refuse to let me be? Did I not spell everything out for you already? What's so blasphemous about sharing a slice of the cake with me when you've already got the entire fortress at your feet? It would seem that you can't see the difference between sharing and looting. And on top of that, look at your people. Are they not starving as you wolf down your cake? You, stop acting all high and mighty like some hero of justice. Have you forgotten? Nobody in this blasted fortress is innocent. We are all irredeemable monsters who have destroyed something that others held dear. What's so wrong about punishing those who deserve to be punished? It's what they've always deserved. And please, are you really gonna tell me that you care about their lives and well-being when you just need a supply of labor to keep this place running? Is it that all you need to keep your cushy life? Sadly, you're wrong on both counts. Unlike you, I've never seen them as currency. The fortress is not only a place for confinement, but also a place for rebirth. 
Just as people are free to give in to the darkness within their hearts, they are also free to seek redemption and a new beginning. Our bodies have limits, but our spirits will always remain free. They may have made mistakes, but they are still human beings with people and things that they cherish. And most importantly, they should always retain the freedom to choose their own path once they've reflected on their past misdeeds. But you, you're destroying their spirits with fear, taking their freedom away so that they'll become slaves who will never again feel or think. And you say that's what they've always deserved? You are nothing compared to them. He... he's really mad. You think me arrogant, Risley. Well, I think you're too young and naive. You understand nothing of this world. Nobody actually sees this fortress as any kind of just a wonderful place. See it for what it is. A dumping ground of pain and misery, irredeemable now and irredeemable forever! No prisoner will listen to you out of gratitude of their hearts. The whip is the only way to make them obey. Had you been just one step slower, I would have already taken control of all the garden mechs in this place. Your vision gives you strength. But how long will it hold against these powerful constructs? <laughs> you talk big, but in the end, you know nothing outside of power and control. In that case, let me give you a small taste of what real power looks like. A more, please. Born of ice and frost. Let me scry. I think fear can control everything. Well then, terrify me. Don't high road me! You're just another crook! And it's time you got treated like one! <laughs> What's the matter? Too scared to shoot straight? I, I'm warning you! Unauthorized punishment and torture are prohibited here! As to do, you should set an example! Funny how that slipped my mind. Well, from this point on, you can forget about that rule. The rules of the fortress are there to keep the likes of you in check. But if the Duke wants somebody dead, he needs no justification. 
Understood. <laughs> Sorry for taking so long. Did I keep you waiting? No, not at all. Paimon didn't know you were so considerate. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say I actually feel very helpless. There's no way that I could truly empathize with the fear that the members felt every day. I could comfort and compensate them all I want, but it might still not be enough to repair the damage that has been done. I have to take responsibility for it, as does the fortress. Yeah, it's the least that we could do. So, do you have a plan for how you're gonna deal with him yet? Oh, Dujie? I've already got an idea. For now, I think I'll do nothing. Huh? Why? I think it's a very fitting punishment for him to have to imagine the sorts of punishments that will soon be coming his way. He'll be left in the dark with regards to both the dates and the details of his punishment. Of course, that's not to say that I'll be letting him off scot-free. It's not often that I actually get the chance to be creative with my punishments. I'm going to talk to the members of the society. He'll get a chance to experience everything that he's ever inflicted on them. Looks like she should watch her tongue when she's around you in the future. Why do you think I'd do that kind of thing to you? You offend me, Paimon. Anyway, jokes aside, thank you so much for all of your help. There's still a lot for me to take care of, so... How about this? I'll treat you to a meal in two days at the coupon cafeteria. We should have a better handle on things by then. Of that place. Don't worry, it won't be the same old welfare meal. I'll make the necessary arrangements. Oh, then you've got yourself a deal!
next on the agenda? Way behind schedule. Let's go, let's go. Are you another chance? I'm going to face the cost. Uh, 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 the wrong test right subject. <laughs> Next on the agenda?
this. Everybody, stand back. Power that ended high, John. Access denied. Treasures are a cause for great happiness.
な。Is your child feeling any better? Thank you for your concern, Fremenae. His condition is fairly stable. The family doctor said we might be able to take him out for a stroll today. Zuria, Fremenae, we're here! <laughs> Seems like everyone's arrived now. Not quite. Aren't we missing someone? But Paimon has a guess where he might be. Hey, Galaxy! Oh, Thalxy's got himself a sword and a shield now. He's looking sharp. Indeed. With his weapons in hand, Thalxy looks more formidable than ever. You've really outdone yourself, Remine. We helped you! Yes, you really had a good eye for materials. Everything you found was high quality. Speaking of which, Zuria just told me that she wants to end the adventure with the coronation ceremony. So, uh, could I also trouble you with finding some materials for the crown? You can just keep an eye out for them on our way to the ruins. I was planning to collect the materials myself, but then I realized you might be able to find some prettier ones than what I could get my- Seems like everything's ready to go. Shall we head out? Please wait a moment. I was just thinking. Since Thalxy has already shown us his brand new appearance, we may already be able to draw a new page in the picture book. What do you think? Paimon's excited now! Hmm... Why don't we use the story we know as a reference? Just make the atmosphere a bit less grim. So we'll take out the sad parts and replace them with happier stuff? Sounds great to Paimon! Alright, I'll give it a try. I'm not very adept at drawing, but I've seen a lot of art during my work. Now, as far as the actual content of the drawing, please tell me what you'd like to see. Let me think... We can draw the weapon. The prince has picked up the Sword of Courage and the Shield of Perseverance. Which proves he has- Okay, I'll add the weapons. Anything else? Paimon wants to give him some friends. foxy has got some friends by his side now, so he's no- Okay, I'll also draw some companions. Anything else? Color. Ah, oh, color, yes! That's really important. The road in front of him now will no longer be just grayscale, but bursting with color and hope. Who would have thought the page could have become so inspiring? How wonderful! Splendid ideas, everyone! Great! Everyone looks super pumped up! Felsy, most of all! Are you seeing this, my son? Are you feeling inspired by this as well? I'm sure he is, Zuria. And this is still just the first page. That's right! Paimon can't wait to see the picture book when it's all finished! We should finish it as soon as possible and keep up the belief and hope in our hearts. Mm-hmm. I'm starting to look forward to it as well. So let's get the show on the road and head towards the Kingdom of Water Imps. Yay! Thalxy's fantastic adventures begin now!
that we can use for the crown, right? Let's get some for Fremine. These should be enough. I knew you'd have a knack for finding the best materials. We shouldn't need anything else to head to the Kingdom of Water Imps. Oh, is that the entrance to the underwater ruins ahead? These are the underwater ruins that Fremenet found. They're pretty amazing, but still not exactly the kind that Paimon was imagining. Oh, yeah, Paimon knows. It's just... <sighs> Paimon thought we'd actually see a fairy tale world. Like with the water imp's colorful houses and the rainbow bridge. I'm sorry. I was hoping to put up some decorations, but ran out of time to do it by myself. Whoa, someone's already switched into fantasy mode. Seems like the travelers already got the gist of things. You should do your best too, Pi- uh, Don't underestimate Paimon! Paimon can flip the switch too! Now entering... Paimon Fantasy Mode! Ahem. Young adventurers, tis Paimon, guardian goddess of this land. State your goals and intentions for visiting this nation. Uh... We are the companions of Prince Thalxi, your Divine Highness. We have come to help him reclaim the glory that he has lost. Oh, reclaiming your glory? Thy goddess here has golden glory, silver glory, and bronze glory. Which is it that the prince has lost? Huh? Is the goddess has concluded that you're all brave adventurers without the taint of greed in your hearts. As such, you are worthy of everyone's respect. So please accept the goddess's reward. The goddess will now bestow all three types of glory upon you. And as for this prince... The goddess will also bestow upon you the rainbow glory, so your future will always be filled with light. My gratitude to your divine highness for such generous blessings. Power is now surging through every part of my body. Uh, me... Me too. Is this the divine inspiration of legend? Adventurers, forge bravely ahead and defeat the monsters that have taken over the kingdom. You will be sure to find that which you seek. Please be 
Be careful, brave adventurers. Just to have some evil enemies that have invaded the kingdom of water imps. They're called... Uh... The Healy Churls of the Deep. To ashes! Day huh. reckoning! Frost is coming! Getting gear! Those accursed enemies are back again! Your Highness, please show them what you're made of! Teamwork is dreamwork! Here we go! Commencing cleanup! <laughs> This is long overdue. Getting here. Frost is coming. We're under attack again. It's a law which of the deep. There's no need to fear, my friends. His Highness is so strong now that even a divinature of the deep would pose no threat to him. It should now be time for us to attend Thuxi's coronation ceremony. The only thing is, I didn't expect this to go so smoothly. I thought it would have taken longer for us to reach the heart of the ruins. It was my mistake. I should have told Fremenay earlier that we would also need a crown. It's all because the Traveler and Goddess Paimon were too strong! We just eradicated all the monsters in one go! It's okay, Zuria. We can come back again once I've made the crown. Then I must thank all of you again for taking the time. And you too, Thalxi, my child. Thalxi's turning out to be a real expert at fighting! I don't think there's anything that will be able to stop him. He's like a true prince now. Yes, I agree as well. Let's head back to camp for now. I asked the Traveler to search for some materials on the way because I want to make the crown as soon as possible. We can add an update to Thulxi's fantastic adventures as well! Now that we've reclaimed the Kingdom of Water Imps, it's time for us to draw some new scenes in the picture book! Zuri and Fremenay, why don't we draw the new pages first? Paimon really wants to update the picture book. Hey, you didn't have to see it out loud. <laughs> no problem, I'm happy to oblige. Then in that case, the story today should go something like this. After overcoming many obstacles, Prince Thelxie and his brave companions finally arrived at the entrance to the Kingdom of Water Imps. At this time, the little fairy in the group, Paimon, revealed her true goddess form to her companions. Woohoo! The goddess has arrived! She praised the companions for their purity, and to reward them, she bestowed upon them many blessings. 
and even prayed that the prince would be able to fulfill his goal. Bathed under the goddess's glory, the prince and his companions charged into the bastion of evil, chased away the monsters, and rescued the pretty water imps from their imprisonment. The prince finally managed to reclaim his kingdom. Oh no, the crown isn't ready yet! No. The crown was within the prince's reach, but the monsters took it with them as they fled. They haven't given up and are sure to return, but the prince is certain to reclaim the crown the next time they fight. Oh, and Paimon can almost see it all happening now! Whoa, the pages are beautiful! Surya is really talented at drawing! Thank you, everyone. We've also completed the second page of the picture book now. Thelxie's journey is one step closer to its end, and the promised coronation. My child, you'll also be able to brighten up when that time comes, right? I'm sure he will, Zuria. Who knows? Perhaps the doctor will already have some good news for you when you get back home today. I sure hope so, your Divine Highness. Oh, Fremenay, about the time you'll need for the crown. Please don't worry. One day should be more than enough. Ah, then I must thank you for your hard work. All right, let's rendezvous here in another two days' time for our final adventure, okay? And see you in two days, my lovely friends. Yeah, I'll need to go to the city shortly to get some parts for the base of the crown. I want to try out a few different designs and choose the one that looks the best. Yeah, Paimon knew that you didn't often take commissions from others, but Paimon had no idea you'd be so dedicated once you're on the job. Ah, uh, well, about that, it might be because... Because what? It's because... I hope... Uh, what's the matter? And what's with that look on your face? You're turning red! And it looks like you're about to run away and put your helmet on again! Uh, am I turning red? today, Fremenae. Let's see each other in two days' time. Okay. Thank you. See you in two days. I hope that everyone who's found themselves in a dark place...
we go. Surprise. Everybody stand back. Torn to oblivion. Shine down. Time for takeoff. Let's light it up. There is no escape. Now you shall perish. I'm going in. Scatter. Think you can get away? Shine down. Inazuma shines eternal. Teamwork is dreamwork. There is no escape. Surprise. Time for takeoff. Flicker. Torn to oblivion. Shine down. Everybody stand back. Think you can get away? Scatter. Illusion shattered. Process of elimination. Time for takeoff. <laughs> Another test Get subject. Up. Think you can get away? Make yourselves a move! This is long overdue. No touching! Hands with the wings! Care for the job. Time for takeoff. The temple of wisdom. All eyes on me. Positions. Care for the dance. Blaze over. Born of ice and frost. Think you can get away? Dance with me. Dance is for you. Care for the hands. Care yeah. for the dance. For Rex Lapis. <laughs> Time for takeoff. Make yourselves a move. Care for the hands with the wings. Care for the dance. This is long overdue. Care for the dance. Think you can get away? The Temple of Wisdom! Brace yourself! Care for the dance. All eyes on me! Care for a Blaze over! No touching! Time for takeoff! Care Make for yourself a move! Care for the dance! What a Yahoo! Dance with this me! This dance is for you! Care for
Eyes on me! Eyes on me! Now you shall perish! For Rex Lapis! Scatter! Flicker! Inazuma shines eternal! Illusion shattered! To ashes! This is long overdue! Born of ice and froth! Defract! Here you are! Blaze over! Eyes on me! Scatter! Now you shall perish! There is no escape! All hail! Power that ended up! A process of elimination! Inazuma shines eternal! Illusion shattered! This is long overdue! No touching! Flicker! Eyes on me! For Rex Lapis! Now you shall perish! To ashes! You can get away. Silence! Be sanctified. Cry <laughs> loud! That's close enough! Time for takeoff. This is long overdue. Got the wind rises. Wretched vermin! That's following us! That's close enough! The tides beckon. Settle down. Think you can get away? All hail. That's following up. New punk. That's following up. Cry louder. Ja. Squall and fury. Your coming was foretold. Be sanctified. Bow your head. Find your lost in target practice. Time for takeoff. This is long overdue. Unsightly insects! Your coming was foretold! Let the mighty be humble! You are not well targeted! Think you can get away? Wretched vermin! Your coming was foretold! The time is Target practice. Silence! Your coming was foretold! Time for takeoff! Cry louder! Blaze over! By the eternal! <laughs> Be sanctified! Your coming was foretold! Finally! Think you can get away? The wind rises! Ah! Uh, Vermin!
Shower me with praise. Time for takeoff. The tides beckon. This is long overdue. Let the world come alive! <laughs> We're way behind schedule. Think you can get away? Let the mighty be humbled! All hail! Another. Time to shine! You know. Brace yourself! Time for takeoff! Born of ice and frost! Be sanctified. For Rex Lapis! Settle down! Let the world fly! <laughs> Think you can get away? This is long overdue. Let the mighty be humble! Let my name echo in song! <laughs> Let's play! Silence! For Rex Lapis! No touching! Be sanctified! Let the world fly! <laughs> Time for takeoff! Born of ice and frost! Blaze over! Next up, brace yourself! Let my name echo in song! Let the mighty be humbled! <laughs> <laughs> 